Hi everybody, it's Joe from Lucas. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. Hey, you know, Cinco de Mayo's coming up soon, maybe a month. I said, I love tequila and I like want to do another video on tequila because we're finding all these new ones. And, you know, to, to talk about them because they're so special, I want you to kind of get a, a, an idea of all these new ones that we've come in. I'm going to do all Blancos today. and We could do a Repo video next time. We could do a, an Anejo video or an extra Anejo video. But I wanted to look at some Blancos, all additive free, you know, from a price range of, let's call it, in the high 30s to $90. So that's kind of your price range that you're sitting on. So let's just go through these. And the first one starts out with, so I, if I take my love for tequila and my love for hockey, El Bandito is Chris Chelios's. That's why the little number's on the side. And certainly, by no question, the best tequila out there for one of these stars that puts their name on something. This is actually a non-additive, 83-point tequila on Tequila Matchmaker, solid bottle. It's got a agave and some citrus, well, strong agave on the nose. Picks up a little pepper and vanilla. That's just a, it's just a great one. It's brand new, I think we've had it about a week. This one is fun. This is a female distiller. They get these glass bottles from recycled Coca-Cola bottles down in Jalisco. So kind of pretty cool. Um, female distiller, fun bottle. I always have trouble saying this one and I say it wrong. I believe it's Kaiya. This is again, this is just citrus and agave and 85 points on Tequila Matchmaker. And we kind of, for those of you that don't know what Tequila Matchmaker it is, every bottle has a NOM number on it. There's about 221 distilleries. There's about 2,600 brands. Uh, tequila is a regulated spirit, so you can go on Tequila Matchmaker and you can actually look up the NOM number on any bottle and it can give you exactly how it's made, its ratings. What's really important about that is when you look at the ratings, they go from one to 90. We have seen some 91s, but they're generally on a scale of one to 90. So anything in the 80 points is generally a very, very good tequila. So again, I'm getting, I'm getting agave, but it's gonna be cooked agave. So it's a little darker and I'm getting citrus on the nose. Oh, it's just delicious. These are just great Blancos. All of them are excellent. Mienta. This is a fun one. We've had this one for about six weeks. Super delicious. This has got some funky nose in it. What I mean by that is you start to get like cantaloupe and honey and I've never had that before in a tequila and I really like it. I really like it. Certainly agave. All these should be agave forward because we got Blancos here. But even a hint of cinnamon. It could be cinnamon or pepper, but I think I taste a little bit more cinnamon. But that, that cantaloupe and honey. Mm, that's delicious. That's super delicious. All right, let's go on the Wild Common. Now, they make a mezcal and they make a tequila. They're on the higher end of the tequilas as far as the Blancos. This is delicious. This is a 90-point Blanco. So is Cascanas. So those are big points in the tequila world. So you get agave right on the nose. You, I pick up some clove, some almost white pepper, and some type of citrus, uh, orange and lime. I mean, it's totally delicious. A lot of character, which is surprising in a Blanco. There's something else there like a nice. Mm. That's flipping delicious. Okay, again, another one I'm going to struggle through drinking here. Cascanas, again, remember I said 90 points. Super sweet on the nose, almost like candy corn. That big agave, black pepper. These are all just, these are good. Mm. Guys, I love tequila. 
If you got questions, make sure you post them. Let's start talking about these. These are brands, if you drink Blancos, and these are mainly sipping tequilas, okay? You know, you could maybe make margaritas with this, but you know, these are ones you wanna drink, okay? Um, and I, I'll even do one on, uh, on uh, margaritas. We could definitely show you different ones that you can lose for margaritas, but we wanna use something a little bit less expensive. Hey, at the end of the day, these are fantastic tequilas. Leave some comments. Always thanks for shopping at Lucas one bottle at a time. We truly appreciate your business. You guys have an amazing day. And hey, I know it's a little early, but happy Cinco de Mayo. We'll talk to you soon.